Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today, we're visiting Nexus where we're gonna do a quick factory tour and then poke our head in one of these finished product. Let's go take a look. All right, Nexus RV, chassis prep. Well, that certainly looks like prime pooping position to me. This is for you. Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody. This is Brian Walzak, my rep with Nexus RV. Today, we're gonna do a quick tour of the factory and then look at some new coaches. So we we're- We have inventory. We're in chassis prep. He's gonna take it away, Brian. Well, hey, look, look what we have. A, we have a wall, a small mountain of toilets. We have a mountain of air conditioners. Nice. Nexus is ready to build coaches. All right. Here we are in chassis prep. This is one of the all new Rebels. A couple things you want to take note of here, and I'll show you real quick. Only motor coach on the market in this price point that is 100% steel. Galvanized steel compartments. Very nice. Strength in the steel that we put to prep the chassis. Steel inside the floors, steel inside the walls, steel in the roof, 72% stronger. Who else does that? You gotta go to a half million dollar, three quarter million dollar price point. NRC, show hauler. Show hauler. That's right, that's the only ones that I That's know it. of. That's Nobody else is doing ones. that, that's right. So if you want your family to feel more comfortable when they're riding down the road, better ride, more stable, lots of carrying capacity, this has got it. So. Folks, that's the Nexus difference, steel, steel. Yeah, I'll show you something else since we're standing right here. Mm -hmm. This is the other side of the line right here. Yep. But we've got all of our roofs lined up here. Okay. Crowned. Is that so, crowned? Unique to us, fiberglass roofs, especially in the Class C segment. Mm -hmm. Something we do different. You can see this is all steel. Steel ductwork for the AC inside. You can see that, that piece nice. right here. Yeah. That's all steel. I left my magnet in the office. That's fine. Well, listen, we know it's steel. That's fine. Biggest thing that we do different is what you see here. Yep. Loose lay in the outside, and this will bend around the outside of the coach, mm -hmm. creating a true umbrella protecting your coach. For One years piece. To come. One piece fiberglass. That's great. So, yeah, we got a lot of good things going on here. Of course, down the street now, we've got all of our chassis prepped down there. Mm -hmm. So it comes in the door just like this with the one piece. Lino from front to back. This is a bow floor, so it's I made like for all weather. Heavy duty stuff. Really Very nice. Heavy duty. Yep. That's covering up, of course, the seamless floor from front to back, all vacuum form, vacuum laminated together. Mm -hmm. This is the new international. Is this Did a you? 2022 or 2021? This is a 2022. Okay. Any uh, changes in Rebel for the model year or no? Right now, this year, uh, we're focused on building better mm -hmm. and more. Right. We so haven't done a lot of stuff. Not a lot of changes. Yes. All right, good. So that that won't that'll make 21. the folks that bought a 20 or 20, 2020 or 2021 happy. <laughs> well, let me clarify that too. Okay. There's a big change. Okay. The price. Okay. Well, yeah. Now for 22, the price did go up because we're dealing with unbelievable shortages. You're right? not alone in that. And yeah. I'm sure that this is not the first time folks are hearing that. That's so. what we have mountains of toilets, yep. mountains of air conditioners, mountains of everything everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have what we need to build product here at Nexus. Awesome especially in the diesel segment. So. so yeah, we have a couple of these coming. I'm excited for them to get there. We did not have our uh, any of them that we've had so far. We haven't had any of them long. <laughs> they they no, don't they, stay long. They, they do stay. not. In fact, right now here at Nexus, about 80% of what we ship out of our door off the production line is already pre-sold mm -hmm. before it even leaves here. We're, we're selling stuff before it even arrives as well. So probably the Rebels that we have will sell before they arrive. So let it be yours, folks. Let it be yours. This is a unique one here. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, Jim, this is uh, one of our Vipers. Okay. Uh, this no, is, this, is, is this what we have coming or no? No, we okay. have the Class Cs. Okay. This is a B plus. So okay. Narrow bottom, gotcha. shorter. No. Nope. Of course, this is an endangered species for the 2020 yeah, the van, summer. Van chassis, we're gonna have some issues with yes. those. Uh, Ford has announced, of course, yeah. that they're uh, gonna have to take some of the semiconductors they get and put them into some of their other lines. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. But you can see as we move down the line here, we of course put all the cabinets in place. Getting more finished. Yes, sir. Something we do, and you can't see it yet, but it's starting to develop here. Water heaters, furnaces, plumbing. Mm -hmm. People ask us regularly, are Nexus coaches all weather coaches? We designed our coaches so all of your water lines, all of your electrical, everything is above deck. Mm -hmm. So if your cabin is warm enough to sit in without a coat, your water systems are yep. going to be fine. Yep. I always tell people most coaches could withstand it, but you got to worry about heater failure. That's right. That's what you got to worry about. Have That's that right. have that antifreeze handy in case you're to lose heat, and then, now, then you're good. certain coaches like our Rebel. Yep. Rebel has five different heating sources. Wow. There are two gas furnaces. Mm-hmm two heat strips yep. in, or heat pumps in the AC and of course the dash heat. Right. So there's lots of ways to heat that. Baby. There you go. All right, we're still working. <laughs> these are, these guys working. are getting overtime today. All right, so here what we're doing <laughs> is we're finishing off some of the electrical, some of the plumbing. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll show you here in a second because we've got a ton of wire looms back over here. Let me sneak around these guys here. Sorry guys, don't definitely don't want to get in your way. Just trying to help you guys build more. So right here you can see a lot of the raw wire supplies. Starting from over here on the left, those are your 12 volt color coded lines right there. Mm -hmm. Then you've got some of your high amperage, low voltage line here. You can see we use six, eight, and 10 gauge wire. Mm -hmm. Any one of these spools right here is worth thousands of dollars mm -hmm. right here. And you can see all that we have already. Did you guys get some price increasing on electrical wiring as well? Dude, it doesn't matter. There's yeah. price increases on Whatever everything. it is, yeah. So what we're doing in order to stay afloat, stay profitable, is we use a looming process. That's what you see here. These these are looms. Yeah. Where every one of our models it has a specific loom that goes to that coach. It's like a harness. So there's very, very little waste mm -hmm. in any of our units. Perfect. So you can see we're all ready to go here. The next couple of days of production. Very nice. This is a pretty good example of how we run all the wires and the plumbing right here. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot easier to plumb and wire the coach from the outside here. Oh, absolutely. Rather than trying to do it with the walls on. All right. Shelling. We call that shelling. That's right. Well, not yet. <laughs> not yet. This is electrical and plumbing. All right. We'll move over to shelling over here. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So, of course, the coach will go through that door, back in this door. And then this will be a wall for one of our Vipers. Oh, wow. So right here, you can see where it's, it's all routed, routed out. out. That's yeah. the actual slide room. Oh, nice. These are vacuum form walls. So, very, very strong. So wait, will you use that cutout to build the slide wall? It will be. I'll oh, take you down there very and nice. show you that one. Awesome. So the, the wall is actually married to the side wall. Okay. The, sl the slide room and, and so forth. Yep. So it's a really, really strong wall. So things we do different with our sl sl uh, side walls, all of the window cutouts are braced in steel. Yep. So if I had my magnet, I could go every 16 inches and show you the steel with that magnet. I've seen it done. And then all the compression windows that we do, we use compression windows as the rest of the industry does. Mm -hmm. When those windows are sucked in, that steel holds it in place. Right. Really helps prevent a lot of the rattling and noise you'd see going down the road. And leaks. And leaks, yep. Yeah. Frameless, so, frameless windows, there's right? There's a crane right here. This crane will pick up the sidewall mm -hmm. and then move the sidewall onto the chassis, which is either here or here. And then we'll install that wall just like you see right here. Right. Once it's here, we then finish routing out what's left of the sidewall, and that goes over to the uh, slide room slide department. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then you can see how it's attached. Everything is lagged every couple inches all the way down. And again, this one here has a huge sunroof so far. <laughs> Special edition. All That's right, guys. Got the rear on this one. This is a 37 Ghost right here. This is a back and a half model. Again, huge skylight. Now, do you, is this retail sold? Oh yeah, yeah. All the 37s are. Okay, I think I have one on order. You do. I wonder, I wonder do. if this is uh, this is his. This one. Let's see who it belongs to. Okay. Uh, I won't one. say the name and if it's not my guy. So. Uh, this one's going to California. Okay, not my guy. So, uh, every right. one of our coaches, in order to maintain accuracy. We put the name of the coach yep. on the side. I'll show you what we do. It's pretty easy. For sure. I won't zoom in on it on anybody's privacy. So this is the dealer's name. Yep. These are the options they expect, mm -hmm. the standards, any changes as we go down the line, by station, any of the shortages, right down to schematics. We yep. do this on every single vehicle as it goes down to ensure accuracy. Yep. Helps. Now, something a customer called me about today, which is really interesting. Let me see if it's in here. They asked me about what we call the traveler. Mm -hmm. We have a booklet that goes in each of our coaches where each cell, we call them production cells here. Right. Every cell has to be signed off for their specific tasks. 
So there's accountability at every level here. We have the frontline workers, of course, signing off, the team leaders signing off, the people, the quality checkers signing off, mm -hmm. everybody, all the sign offs. Right. You can't build quality or inspect quality into a product. It has to be built in from the start. Got to inspect what you expect. And that's what we're doing here. I like these baggage doors. Yeah, Side these, opening. Yeah, these are the ghosts. So these yeah. are the steel ones. Of course, this Very is nice. the 100 uh, gallon fuel tank. Very nice. Huge. I like side opening baggage doors. We gotta somehow figure out a w way to get them onto the uh, the lower level models. <laughs> I, got I know everybody's requesting. But, so you know. what we have here, this is what we finished the uh, shelling process with, is these are the uh, the roof rack, rack, racks here. Mm -hmm. So we'll use that roof that we saw on the other side. This crane will pick it up and set it directly on top. The cap will be put on. So basically the, the easy way to explain how we build motorhomes, you prep the chassis, you put the floor on, you put the cabinets in, electrical plumbing, yep. side walls on the side, the end walls, the roof, yep. and then it goes over here to slide roof. There's a bunch of entry doors there, huh? There's a couple there. There's a couple there. <laughs> You're going to see all kinds of stuff. Here's more roof vests. Nice. And, uh, there's still some folks working in here right now. So It's quiet. Things. This is nice. This I, is I did nice. a factory tour on Friday. It was pretty loud, but I kind of had there to go there during, during business hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. here in this area, we just entered the slide-up department. One of the biggest questions I'm asked is about the slider mechanism itself. Mm-hmm. We use here at Nexus what's called the, the Norco BAL AccuSlide system. It is a motor, chain, and cable driven system with one single motor. So they say the simplest solution is often the best. That's why we use this. Kiss. Now, why Keep do we have simple. so many different kinds? Every one of our models, every one of our rooms, every one of the depths has a specific size. Mm -hmm. It's all engineered and designed. When we install these into the sidewall, it actually bolts on and makes the sidewall stronger, mm -hmm. unlike typical slide rooms and trailers or other motorhomes. It's part of the slide room. Exactly. So let me Very show nice. you what it looks like once we get it installed. That's heavy duty stuff right there. We've got windows, of course. And over here, we've got one of our vipers. No, this is a triangle. Okay. On There's the, a slide room. As we said, soon to be extinct for the summer model. So yeah. what happens here is the cable system has an inside and an outside. Mm -hmm. So the cables will pull the room in yep. or pull the room out. Yeah. Benefits of this cable system is it doesn't require bracing. Mm -hmm. So wherever the room is, it can stay there. You've got multiple seals, inside, outside, and bulb seals. Crush on seals sides. on both sides, right. Yep. So it makes it really, really solid to use. So what are you guys going to do with production with the lack of Ford chassis? Well, some of our other chassis vendors have stepped up okay. and offered us additional chassis. More Rebels? It could be more Rebels. It could be more MV. Supersies, okay. Wraiths, Ghosts. Awesome. Uh, we do have a plan. Okay. And we think that uh, one of the things that people should really look at when considering a Nexus, consider it like airplanes. Nexus is the fighter jet of airplanes. We're small. We're maneuverable. We're gonna get you where you need to be. We're not the big 747 lumbering along. Yeah, they both serve their purpose, they're yep. both good, but we're gonna find ways to get stuff done and make sure we can build better product. Here, let me show you some slide rooms. Okay. So this is Let's one of the slide rooms for a 30R right here. Full wall slide. It's a full That's wall a slide, one. it's huge. Wow, but you can pull that with Oh yes, it's all no casters of course. But it's not so heavy that you can't move it by yourself. Well, it's all steel. So when you show this off here, this is this is rock solid. Yeah, yeah. The side walls, the roof, of course, the slide room, the wall itself, the floor. Mm -hmm. Yep. If your customers are looking for the best built motor coach on the market, we do the steel. We mm -hmm. do the fiberglass roof. We do what it takes here at Nexus to build a better product. And here, even though demand is off the charts, the question is now, not do I want a Nexus, but can I get a Nexus? Yeah. Because in this day and age right now, customers are looking for the best deal. I have customers call me up and say, hey, I've waited for two years to buy an RV. I'm finally ready. Well, we're sold out. 
here's what I'm finding. Day, a day difference is turning into weeks. A week difference is turning into months. That's right. That's so absolutely right. Order soon, man, because yeah. these guys are getting uh, pushed out. Everybody. And it's not just us. I mean, look. Everybody we're, is. We're here in Everybody Park. is. We, we compete down the street with Renegade down yep. this way. I just came from there. Dynamax down this way. Yep. Each of them are within a couple miles of where we are. Go so. in there tomorrow. <laughs> so we, we're, we're in fine company, and we want to make sure we build as good or better. And I could show you reasons why our product is better. Mm -hmm. So we've got two little 24s here. Uh, this is a this is a substitution, of course. This coach will be painted. Okay. Um, this is an example of what Nexus will do to make sure we build and keep building. Uh, the fiberglass vendor, all they could get us was cream-colored glass, so we used it. Paint it. Exactly. And you'll never know. It. They're never going to know. <laughs> we've, got some, we've got some really resourceful people in purchasing. They're going to do whatever it takes. Good. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were dealing with a shortage in furniture. Due to the uh, petroleum shortage, making the foam. Still we've Paul's? Got, we've got furniture. Is it still Paul's or no? Uh, yes, it is yep. Paul's okay. furniture. Paul's furniture is, wow. is known. Look at, look at all this furniture, folks. <laughs> wow. We've got it here. Nice. Paul's furniture is known worldwide. He's, uh, he's based here in Elkhart, Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't come from overseas. It's all handmade stuff. I'm familiar with it. They're in the show hauler as well. That's right. And I think Hallmark used to build with them as well. He, he does a good job. Yep. So... Right here on the line, we pulled a couple of units through, but this is the non-paint or what they call the snowball line. Okay. That will go down to the end there, and then, of course, we'll do our alignments there. Mm -hmm. And then the coach goes out the door to paint. Right. When it comes back from paint, here's a perfect example. This is a new 30R. Mm -hmm. This is the new... Actually, we did change the color scheme on the Rebels a little bit. Rebel Red. Well, the red hasn't changed. You know what they call the Rebel Red? GM has a paint code for it. Do they really? The GM paint code is called Pull Me Over Red. <laughs> Pretty interesting. <laughs> Don't pull me over, please. <laughs> so on the 2021 like models, you might have seen more white mm -hmm. in the scheme. Uh, what our paint vendors have requested is if we can use the silver in place of the white. Same same mask, same outlines, just that one color change. Oh, I like we it. We think it changes the whole dynamic and makes it, does. it even more solid. So I did a lot of show haulers in this color scheme right here. Okay. It was one of our most popular colors. I like that. When the coach comes back in, the reason it comes back in is now we're putting the awnings on okay. and the outside accessories. It's a whole lot easier to paint the coach right. without that extra and stuff. And I'm masking there. all that extra stuff for no reason. So Another here, Rebel? Here's another Rebel, yep. Both of these have the gas electric fridge. Don't know why. Must be going out west. Are you moving to a 12 volt or no? What do you? Uh, what is, we what is the plan? We have using 12 volt. Okay. But for a while there, it was whatever fridge we could get. Right. It was either 110 or 12 volt mm -hmm. with the option for the gas electric. Right. The 110 12 volt fridge is dominating what we built. It's okay. close to 80% of what we built. Yeah, I like the 12 volt refrigerator idea. It's so much easier with the inverter nowadays and the battery power and adding the solar. It's yep. so much easier. So, so over here, of course, in the back over there, there we, we sub-assemble all of our own balances, all of our own drawers, okay. our doors. No suppliers on those. That's nice. So we try and control the, the flow as much as possible. Sure. That yeah, just came from uh, Midwest. They they pretty much they they build everything that yeah, goes do. in their vans. They do. They do a good job of it. But yeah, they do. Sometimes it's easier for us to just buy the parts mm -hmm. and have our people put it in. For example, I mean, look, you got we're not going to be making these, right? Right. You, know, you don't make right. uh, these here. Of course, it's easier for us to buy curtains or balances. Sure. Some not the balances, but some of the curtain products here. What is this? Okay, so this is a little viper. Is this new? Oh, that's a big deal for 2022. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you about this. So Nexus has gone to the warranty of steel. Because of the steel, we know we're built better. So we've gone to a 12-year structural and a six-year lamination warranty. Yeah, well, uh, know there's, that. There's still a one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty and sure. everything. This is to, to ensure that your our customers are buying the best product. One of your competitors does that. Well, they do. Yeah. And we know we build better. So yeah. the question was asked. That ain't steel. <laughs> there, like said, theirs isn't steel. That's aluminum. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So here's another Rebel. This is the Rebel Red, of course. Yep. I like the silver. It really makes it pop. Sure. I like silver. Silver's a class color. And then we've got another Viper here in the end. Now, everything runs up the same line? Everything runs up the same line. Now, here in this line here, 
uh, like in the paint line, you're going to get an assortment of different vehicles. You right. might have a Ford, a Ford, a Rebel. It changes because it's whatever we get back. Right. Uh, you come back tomorrow, there could be five Super C's lined up in here. Right. Once this coach goes on the scales, we weigh every coach right here. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a little trick over here on this side. I mean, mostly uh, Ford vans in the snowball line, right? No, no, we run the internationals down here too. Okay? Oh, okay. I don't know if this has it yet, but you're going to find on every one of our units. Uh, no, it doesn't have it yet. There'll be a sticker here yeah, yeah. showing the exact length of the vehicle. This okay. has been mandated by RBIA okay. that we show the exact length. So once the coach hits this spot right here, for all intents and purposes, this coach is done. Okay. Unless there's a shortage. Then it goes to camp simulation. That's correct. That's the difference right there. <laughs> and that's in the next building. See, I pay attention. You do. <laughs> Part of that is the, the rain bay that we have here on site. Okay. Yep. The bays that we have over here are shortage bays. You okay. Know, it's plagued our industry. With everybody. Shortage, right? Everybody. Everybody has a yard full of stuff missing a few items. So everybody. We're trying to, like I said, work like a fighter jet. Yep. To only schedule and build what we have in stock. So we're not piling up. Oh, you'll just be, you'd be jamming yourself up? Well, the truth of it is, every time you open the door to a coach here in the manufacturing environment to fill a shortage, mm -hmm. the guy could walk in with his screw gun and scrape the heck out of it. Yeah. So every time that door opens, it could be something that, that could go wrong. There's Anna. She doesn't like to be on camera. All right, she, that's fine. I she won't, runs the plant I won't here. put her on camera. You only go on camera if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're working on right here is there's a quick list here uh, they've been doing this it's a bulletproof system to show all of the different coaches that we have uh, what's in process what's in paint very cool keeping Same. track of everything keeping track of everything information is the friend well this process has been used for many years mm -hmm. so and then of course it goes outside and i'll show you some of the stuff we got all right did she here. hide i don't want to get her on film if she don't, don't want to be don't get john terrified okay don't wow get I've been with Nexus for over 10 years. He's been one of the longest employees here. So he's seen all the growth and everything we do. Sure. So here we've got a Ooh, blue Triumph one. 24 here, and then of course the Rebel 30 right here. Oh, the blue, I like that, that's pretty. This is the uh, evening blue. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference is, of course, this would have been white before. Right. But you can see the metal, oh, it's dirty, but you can see the metal fleck that's inside the paint. Very nice. Still using Sherwin Williams, all automotive style paint. Sure. It's a phenomenal right now. I don't know what's inside because. Uh, we don't have to. We don't have to go inside. If it's not done, I'd rather not show it like that. Oh, I'll show you this though. Okay. So, kind of mentioned this earlier. This is one of the travelers. Okay. So, this is specifically for this unit. Yep. This will go in detail. Nice. Every single piece of information that goes along with this coach. Perfect. It's um, a good idea. Shortages. And this stays on file for the life of the coach. Okay. So we keep that here. Every serial number for refrigerators, furnaces, water heaters. You can track it. All, it's all tracked inside. Actually, Very nice. Really good. Triumph. So this is what we do here what in Nexus. A gorgeous day. Wow. It's very nice. So, you, is, what are these getting ready to? So these have either come back from paint, okay. or it looks to me like some of these are they have shortages. I could tell because on the windshield there'd be a "Don't Ship" sticker, okay, with a list of items on there. All right. Uh, I'll share this with your customers, but if you look over here, yeah, that's Interstate 80. We're right here in the highway. Yep. So if you take the road, what is it, 680 miles east? Yeah. You're bumping a Dillon's RV. You're a Dillon's <laughs> RV. You come 680 miles west. Right here in the Nexus, highway. yeah. I drive by this all the time. Indiana Toll Road, right here. So That's right. We're, we got a big sign right out front, big billboard says, We build your dream. Yeah. Got a beautiful rebel up there. If your customers want the best coach possible, uh, they could spend their money with anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the, one of the last privately held companies. That's important. It is. It That's is. important. Some, some of these guys are getting so big that you're not a customer anymore. You're a number. You know, a Nexus, what are you going to build this year? Ballpark? We probably think, I don't know, 1,000, maybe maybe 1,500 coaches, if that. It really uh, depends. We don't know yet. I can still remember that many people. Yeah. That's not a lot. That's great. And we have customers calling us all day. I mean, it's uh, a lot, but, you know. Uh, we're not factory direct anymore. We only work with dealerships, but we still have the customer direct experience. Right. Here. It's important. It's important. Uh, you want to be able to develop a relationship with the manufacturer, not just your dealer, but with the manufacturer. And you can still do that when you're small enough to care. So let me take you into one of our simulation areas because once the coach is done, mm -hmm. 
we then bring it into this other building right next door here. Okay. Uh, we're doing a lot of remodeling right now, of course, to get trucks in and out and vendors easier. We're, we're, we're tearing down fences, we're tearing down walls. We're doing whatever it takes to make sure we can build more stuff. Increasing the campus. That's right. So when we walk through this door here, one of the most unique shots yep. is a list of the first year buyers of Nexus. I remember looking at this last they're time I was still, here. They're still here. Very right cool. Right inside here on the wall on the right hand side. Thank you, sir. Look at this. How cool is that? That is what you should do. Now I asked them, why, why don't we have more years? They said we ran out of walls. Which is really <laughs> So here in the building right now, we've oh, got a couple of uh, chassis that are just outfitted here. Mm -hmm. But typically what you'd see is three to five coaches in here. Each of the coaches would be worked off or checked for four to six hours. Mm -hmm. Checking electrical, 12 volt, plumbing, slides. Making sure Simulating you use. Exactly. Yep. And of course that includes a drive test. We do a drive test. We do the rain bay test. So we're doing everything we can to be problem preventers yep we could be problem solvers we have to do that regularly anyway yeah everybody does you're everybody so period. in this building we got a lot of room of course we got a truck full of our walls uh the guys are done for the day so they generally bring stuff inside in case it rains we right. don't want stuff to get wet sure it's got wood in it yeah a little bit oh, not awesome. much wood can we can we poke our head in anything um let's go over this i, I wasn't I think... planning on doing any walkthroughs but just uh just to poke your head in and let's see what's in this check something out of course this is another More furniture. ds ghost right here yep i think i have one of those being built right now i haven't been in here so i don't know what's in here every coach is like a gift yes yeah, <laughs> well there's no it's in here because we're, we're short of dinette yeah so we can't go in this one. So is this the only one you have in the camp oh, no, simulation? One of the, the done ones. Okay. The ship units. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't want to go in all of them. Just poke my head in a couple. So Jim, I want to show you a finished product. We're here in the shade. We're outside. Today's yeah. kind of a light day. It's a pretty blue. We've only got three coaches outside ready to ship today. Of okay. Of course, like we said, we're not a huge volume manufacturer. International chassis. Yep. This is the international MV chassis. We're missing the badge right there in the side, but. It's a diesel power plant, 6.7 liter inline engine. Mm -hmm. Outside looks great. Four color paint job. Oh, I like this blue. I'm a, I'm a fan of blue though. I really like the blue. The blue looks great. It's pretty. Blue looks sharp. Yeah. I'll reach inside. I'll turn the light on here. Go ahead. You go in first. Okay. Yep. Now the slide is in. We don't need to. We don't need to put it out. I like to show coaches with the slide out in, so that you can see. You can get all the way through this coach to the bathroom, no problem. Pocket door, I like that. Refrigerator, no problem getting there. And that's a 12 volt. And you can get into the bed, slide out in. I, I like that. That is so important. I think more folks are gonna be traveling than actually hitting campgrounds. And this is how they're gonna use it with the slide outs in. So very important. So every one of our coaches is designed to get everywhere in the coach to be able to use everything in the coach with the slides in. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy to run. Just push the slide room out right here. Yep. It's a full wall slide, but with the mechanism, makes it super, super easy. Yep. That's a 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, I opened it up and it turned on, so. <laughs> well, the inverter must be on here right now, because uh, that it shouldn't, be. or the, the, the battery disconnect came on. But, so, it, but it's 12 volt, right? That's this, not a 110. This one, is, this one is 12 volt. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like that. And the controls for this are right here. So yep. you can turn the turn refrigerator on and off. Yep, cool. I turned it off, of course. Yeah. Evidently somebody was, and it's got these little clips. These clips are lightsabers. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like the RV refrigerators that have the clips. So on board, of course, this is uh, this is the international diesel chassis. So we've got the uh, uh, diesel generator on board. Six. This six is on a this one? for the six, but right. most of the rates have the okay. eight. Um, it's a triple mode. Now, did the, some of the rates come with the six or no? No, it's all right. always all eight, all eight and Ghost, mm -hmm. eight KW. Okay. And today, this just happens to be a Triumph, which is very, very, very close to the Wraith. To the Wraith. Mm -hmm. uh, we started building Triumphs without paint, without jacks, and then customers and dealers revolted, and we listened. diesel should be should be painted. Exactly. It's, a, it's a diesel. Exactly. Yeah. So again, we'll build whatever folks ask us to build, yep. and whatever the market demands. Very nice. nice. Paul seating. There. Very nice. Awesome. So up here in the front, this is where the business end, of course, really changes. 
all of our seats, this is one of the areas that we're struggling with right now. The seats, of course, are uh, uh, all handmade here wrap, in town. Wrap them to match. And it's nine uh, different powered directions. So up, down, left, or not left, right, but forward, back. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the recline feature, too. So let me squeeze my rear end up here. Is that the new radio? You. Yeah, I want to show you how this works. Mm -hmm. I don't know who drives these, but they're very, very small. Somebody's about four foot ten. Exactly, right exactly. They're <laughs> tiny. So, well, that's couple. nice. Listen, that's a, that's an important feature. Let's let's talk about that. So, your wife, you want somebody that's going to be able to spell you, yeah. let 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 you take a break, and they drive. That thing went all the way up. So yeah, evidently, this, a small we're person was. A lot was... of business from that. So. Yeah, sure. So here on this side, of course, the steering wheel is fully adjustable and telescopes up mm -hmm. and back, forward and down. So keep even a guy of my size in here. Um, fire her up. Now I want to show you the new 10 inch display. Uh, this is new uh, to Nexus. So of course the backup camera is wired to the display along with the turn signals once they Power up. Turn the volume down here. Actually, I don't have to do that. I can just push the home button and go to camera, and that will show us the backup camera on the back. Oh, very cool. So the idea is to give our customers a bit more. That's area. huge. You know, a lot more uh, situational awareness when you have cameras like that. And the new stereo is one of the big reasons we got this was not just for the bigger size, but it was because this offers what we call screen mirroring. So you plug in and it will mirror the screen that's on your phone. Very nice. So instead of using an in, like an integrated navigation feature, right. you can then use over-the-air cellular to update traffic, uh, bridge height, Perfect. any of that stuff that you might need. Perfect. So. Very nice. Looks like there's one of our reps over there leaving for the day. He's uh, taking off. Of course, he's the rep for a, a state in Texas where it's easy to sell. The rest <laughs> of us have to talk about this stuff and actually get the word out. No, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> He'll love that if he gets all of it. <laughs> so there's been some new remarkable features here on the International. And um, again, it's not discussed a lot, but when you go to the diesel chassis like this, there's a big change that I'll only tell you about. We haven't even updated the literature yet. Mm -hmm. We upgraded the rear axle and the suspension. Okay. So now this is rated at a 26,000 pound coach. Sitting here, we don't publish dry weights, but roughly about 20,000 pounds. Okay. So you've got over 6,000 6, pounds. Of CCC. Capacity. Very nice. Now that's plus an additional 10,000 pounds of towing. Tow. Your gross combined. Yep. So anybody that's owned a motor coach in the past, if it's a Ford or something else, may have always struggled with rough riding. This is 22 and a half inch wheels, yeah. diesel engine, tons of space. This is overdoing it. Yeah. And, uh, so when you go over 26,000, some states have a special endorsements you need on your license. You're not going to have that, any of that with an Nexus. You don't need it. We, we, Very nice. Even if it was more, we still would derate it to 26,000. Right. So that you don't have to have air brakes, air ride, or any endorsements. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, cool. So this is the next best selling Class C. It's a Super C, mm -hmm. but this is the next best seller on the market. All right, cool. Awesome, Brian. Hey. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to show me around. It's great to have you yep. here. Welcome back to Indiana. Love to have you. Yeah. And tell your tell your folks, if anybody wants to come by here, give them my cell phone number. All right. I'll show Excellent. them around the place. Whether they're buying a new motorhome, we only work through dealerships. Selling a motorhome, talk to you. You know, we'll make sure it works out. So. Sure. Awesome. Brian, again, thanks. Hey, great to have you All here. All right. Have a great day.